Welcome to H's Basketball Hour, and today we're going to be talking about the NBA ma NBA second round playoff matchups, and a little bit about, about the Raptors. So we just finished watching the Raptors game seven victory. Now, were you pretty excited when, we, when the Raptors won? Yes, yes, I was. <laughs> okay. Very. Now, what were what were the keys for the Raptors victory tonight? Um, it was. It was mainly just the well. I well, I thought I like I wouldn't like what I thought. Yes. I I thought it was. I just I I pretty much thought I was like the last like I was very happy. Well, I can see that now. Um, Raptors made a little bit. It's lucky to slip away with a victory here. Uh, DeRozan wasn't at his finest. Neither mm -hmm. was Kyle Lowry. Ten for thirty-two usually doesn't uh, get her done, but I think Norman Powell was kind of the maybe the key to the victory. Solid five for six and uh, thirteen points coming off the bench. So, if uh, Lowry and DeRozan can find their uh, touch for the next round, they will be fine against the Miami Heat. Now, mm -hmm. which first round series do you want to talk about first, AJ? Well, the first round match. Well, the first first round matchup is the the Golden State Warriors. Take, taking the Portland Trailblazers. Now, we had the uh, first game on this afternoon, and uh, Golden State won that game fairly uh, easily. What are the key, What are going to be the keys for success for the uh, Golden State Warriors this series? Well, I think Portland's going to beat them once because of Steph Curry gone. So you think it's the uh, Portland can steal a game in this series? Because mm -hmm. all because all of Steph Curry's... But, okay, all because of Dwight Howard and Steph Curry. Okay, obviously, uh, maybe Dwight Howard would have tired out the uh, mm -hmm. Golden State a little bit last series, but I know Curry's knee injury is going to maybe derail their offense a little bit, but they looked fine today. Uh, it's Clay Thompson had his third game in a row with at least seven three-pointers. I think that's the first time ever in NBA history someone's done that. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, yeah, they're doing uh, pretty good right now, the Golden State Warriors. So what's your prediction? 4-1 for the series uh, for the yep. Golden State Warriors? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. What's the next series there, it's little fella? It is... AK, OKC take the San take, take San Antonio. San now, what happened last night in Game One in that series? Well, San Antonio won. Yeah, it was the the Spurs uh, got up to a quick start and just kind of rolled over on OKC. I wasn't really expecting that uh, landslide of victory. I think uh, the OKC might be a little bit over their head if. Uh, Pop can continue to keep the ball moving on offense. I think Billy Donovan's going to have to work a little harder to slow down their offense. So if OKC is going to be successful in the series, what do they have to do there, little guy? Okay, I I know I always say this. Try to get their players as close to the rim they can and get their players as far away. Like, well, that would, what I guess way? that's a good rule in general in basketball. Now, uh, I guess if OKC can kind of let Russell Westbrook take over getting to the rim... Uh, consistently, I think they're gonna have a chance, and I think uh, the Spurs are gonna have to match up, uh, change who they're matching up on. Uh, Durant, I know Kawhi Leonard can only guard one player at a time, and either he's gonna have to be guard guarding either Westbrook or uh, Durant at all times when they're on the floor. So, what's your prediction for the series? I think it's going to be probably two, two, two to two to four. And for which the which for the, San the Spurs, Spurs. going to win four or two? Okay. So we just finished our Western Conference predictions. Now, what's your next series we're going to talk about in the East? It is, the next series is the Cleveland Cavaliers. Take the Atlanta Hawks. Okay, so uh, Cleveland looked pretty convincing in their first round sweep over the uh, Detroit Pistons. And I think uh, Atlanta showed some pretty good poise in their uh, Game 6 victory over the Celtics. So if Atlanta, if they're going to have any chance in the series and slowing down uh, LeBron and the Cavaliers, what do they need to be doing? I always say this. They have to try to get their players as close to them and try to get, and try to get um, the um, Ad, um, Cleveland's, player, Cleveland's players are far away from the rim. Okay, now which, rim, rim, which rim. Uh, players do you think uh, the Atlanta Hawks need to focus on? Who who is going to be their top players um, for the Atlanta Hawks? I think it's going to be, um, I would say, um, 
Paul Millsap, not Marcus Phillips. I confused that last time. Okay, when I said Marcus Phillips in the last video, okay, there's no just thing. It's Paul Millsap I was trying to say. Okay. Paul Millsap and what um, what um, his name is? And what is his name? Al Horford. Al Horford and who, who else is his name? Jeff Teague. Yeah, Jeff Teague. <laughs> okay, no, I think, yeah, I think with their depth at the point guard position, I think... Uh, the Hawks can do a good job maybe um, breaking down the Cavs' defense, especially when they get into the second unit. They get matched up with Del Delvadova at the point guard or Mo Williams. So what's your prediction for the series? I think it's going to be one, maybe one to, one to, one to four for the Cavaliers. And we have one more series to talk about next. And who's in that series, AJ? The Toronto! So we just, the Miami Heat. So we just watched the exciting Game 7 victory tonight. Uh, for the Raptors, what do we need to, what, what's going to be their key to success against the Heat next series? Uh, oh, like the players? Yes. Oh, that's easy. Um, Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, Norris Valanciunas, um, maybe DeMar Carroll, I don't know. Yeah, like I think if Coach Casey can finish, figure out a solid eight-man rotation, uh, possibly allowing Terrence Ross to get some few minutes if they need a little bit of scoring off the bench, I think they'll be just fine in this series. Now, um, who did the he, who do the Raptors have to focus on shutting down in the series? Um, they need to focus on getting down. Well, Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade, and what else is? Hanson Whiteside. Hanson Whiteside. Yeah, we got to try to keep him off the boards. And, and if and if Chris Bosh comes back in. Yeah, let's hope. Uh, obviously, we want the best for Chris Bosh and his health long term. And if mm -hmm. the blood clot's a real serious injury, we don't want anyone to have to deal with something like that. Mm -hmm. What's your prediction for this series, there, AJ? Um, I think it's going to be maybe. I don't trust. Um, well, I would say two, just four. And which teams will win this series, in your opinion? The Toronto Raptors! Okay, we had a real exciting night in the uh, in our household tonight, cheering on the Raptors in their first playoff victory in 15 seasons. Mm -hmm. Just seems like yesterday they knocked off the Knicks in Game 5 in uh, the first round in back in 2001, back mm -hmm. when... Uh, yeah, way before you were seven years before you were born, AJ. So mm -hmm. it's been a while. So uh, we'll say good night to everybody, and we'll see you guys at the end of the round two. Good night. Good night. Not.